Hey, hey, it's Lamar Scholl from Direction to Success.com. Hey, before you and I get started, why don't you go get a drink or a snack? Or better ideas, go grab both. Oh, uh, 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 don't go anywhere. Pause this video. You don't want to miss this. We're going to talk about the newsletter element that's part of the Jack Oliver template. What's the newsletter element? Well, I'm glad you asked. Listen, what this does is allows people to opt into your email list from your web page. And it's real, sorry, it's real easy to use. There's only a few entries you have to make, a couple little values to integrate to your autoresponder, and bada boom, bada boom, you're up and running. Um, and what I want to do, I'm going to take you over to my computer screen and I just want to show you, I've got a, sorry, I'm like getting distracted here. I've got a sample of one on a very simple web page and we're going to talk about that first. Don't worry, we're going to go back, we're going to delete this and I'm going to take you right from the beginning. We're going to talk about all the fields and we're going to integrate this into the autoresponder. And oh, by the way, I've got a little, little golden nugget on this newsletter element for you too. And I'm gonna try not to forget it this time because this is the second take. <laughs> I don't know, I thought it was funny. But anyways, I digress as usual. So this is my computer screen. And like I said, it's a very simple, clean web page, just so we can kind of focus on this newsletter element. So this newsletter element is down here near the bottom of the page in red. And it has these two eye-catching headings here that would make me opt into this email list immediately. Heading one, heading two. But we're going to go change all this when we put one in, you know, for real. And I just kind of wanted to show you. So we're going to be entering, like I said, two headings. All right, we're going to try to think of some catchy text and to grab them but they're gonna then have two entries for text boxes here right one to enter their name one to enter the email once that's done they hit click on the button and then they have subscribed to your email list okay that's it nothing to it so what i'm going to do now is take you into wordpress let me close this so we're in the page editor in wordpress okay and before we get started to make this easy the mode i'm in is called back end editor right so let me see what says classic mode let me i'm going to click on that this is what you're probably normally used to seeing in wordpress this is the classic mode but we want to be in the back end editor right now we have these familiar looking sections right so only on this page, I only have these two sections, this banner section, which right now, today, we don't really care about. Maybe someday we will, but not today. The beauty we're interested in is our newsletter element down here in the bottom. So this is the one we were just looking at. So like I told you before, I'm just going to delete this and we're going to start from scratch. Okay, so it's gone. So now to add a new one, we're just going to come for this section. We just click on the plus button for the section. And let me scroll this up a little bit for you. So you notice here's all the different elements or most of them that I have right now. And the ones that start with the red J.O. here are the elements that come with the Jack Oliver template. I call them Joe elements. I don't know. I always think it's funny, but I'm usually the one that cracks myself up. But anyways, the one that we want to use is this... Um, element called newsletter section right here so all we have to do is click on that this brings us up to the newsletter section setting window and this window it's very simple it just has two parts the general and the autoresponder integration and on the general that we're looking at right now the heading one and heading two are where we're going to enter our text to hopefully grab somebody so that they enter their name and email onto our list then we're going to do button text and this extra text is just the small text that appears below the button so i'm not usually too good at being on the spot like this what should we do hmm enter your email not mine your email 
for a free e-book. Huh, what should this e-book be about? Let me think. Hmm, best book on getting, guess what? Internet traffic. Best book ever, you better believe it. All right, now the net, this field here, just what it says. This is the button text, so whatever you type in here will appear in the button, so I'm just gonna put submit. The extra text field, this is the small text that appears down just below that button. So I'm gonna just say, have a very nice day. Okay, so for the visual part, it's all done, okay? So now we're gonna click on the autoresponder tab. And the autoresponder I'm using today is called Get Response. Whew. And as you can see, it's already filled in, so that saves me a lot of work. Now for the API key and the list token, those two values, you have to, in my case, I have to go over to Get Response and get those. So the autoresponder that you use, you'll have to do the same thing, okay? So through the magic of time i just happen to have my there's my get response api key and my token value for the list that where i want my subscribers to go to and then that's it save changes bada bing bada boom we're done now let's see what we did so we'll just click on the preview button so let me just scroll this up a little bit. So here's the two headers we just headings we just entered, right? Enter your email for free ebook, right? Best book on getting traffic ever, right? So all they would have to do now is enter their name, their email, and click on the submit button, okay? So that's it. You're done. Bada bing, bada boom. You're finished, right? That's how easy that is. So it can't get any simpler. Now, you might be saying, this is good, but I don't like to have this text down below this button, right? So here's a little tip I'm gonna show you. Okay, so I'm gonna just close this. Now, just bring us right back into WordPress again, right? So I'm gonna go in and edit this. So I just told you, right, the extra text is the text that appears just down below that button. So you would think, okay, let me just delete it. Make sure I save changes and we'll preview the page. And it's not gone. What is this? Join my 50,000 plus member. Okay, what this text is that we're looking at right now, that's just some default text. That's part of the Jack Oliver template. That's all. But I told you we can get it so that no text will appear here. So pay attention, here's the golden nugget. So again, I'm just back in WordPress, sorry about that. And if you don't want any text there, you go back into the extra text field, you have to enter at least one space. And I just did that, I don't know if you noticed or not, it's kind of hard to tell. Hit save changes, and we're gonna preview the page. And voila, it's gone. And I hope you enjoyed this. I sure did. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below this video. I do look at them all, and I will definitely get back to you. And again, thank you for taking your time to watch this. I had so much fun. And in the future, I'm planning to do this for other um, elements that we have in the Jack Oliver template. And there's going to be, you know, I've been getting other questions as well. So I'm going to start making some videos for those. So if you have any ideas, by all means, write them below and have a great day.